here. Um, how are you guys doing? Love you guys. Hope you're having a good creative day. Um, we've just announced Aurora HDR 2019. So I'm going to tell you uh, what's new about it. And then I'm going to show you what's new about it. Okay, we'll work on some, some photos together. Um, so, you know, last year we won uh, Apple's uh, app of the year, which was unbelievable, unexpected. And um, by the way, it's the same now for Windows and uh, Mac, totally the same product with all the new features, which I'll, I'll talk about. And um, we have over 3 million downloads of this thing, okay? Uh, by the way, if you want to get it, click click at the link down in the description. Go to our store at store.stuckincustoms.com uh, to get the pre-order and get all the extra goodies. Um, so then we thought, well, what are we going to do um, to improve on something that was already like the best? Uh, it's difficult. And I, I was uh, working with a team at Skylum. I think we started this about three years ago. We've done 11 iterations now. And so what we did is we kind of ripped out the engine I don't know, why would you rip out the engine of something that won such a prestigious award that people love? Well, we wanted to upgrade the entire HDR algorithm. Okay, like, that sounds nerdy, Trey. Well, it is nerdy, but it's not boring. It's good. It's good because there's, there's a bunch of big changes in it. I'll see if I can describe it. One, before, you had to go do a little bit of cleanup, okay, right away because... They make a lot of noise, a lot of halos. Uh, now it comes in with no noise and, and no halos, and you can start enhancing your photo right away. Um, for example, let me let me share my screen here. Screen share this one. Okay, look at this. So this this is like a comparison of the noise right here. Uh, the noise and the haloing, right, in both cases. So yeah, tremendously different. By the way, this is the photo that we're going to work on here. This photo that I took at Burning Man a few days ago. Um, I'll start from scratch and take you through it. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me check it. By the way, uh, let me tell you what's going on here. It is uh, it's morning time in New Zealand, and uh, it's a spring day, about seventy-two degrees. You guys, let me know where you're watching from and what the weather is like there. Um, that's always interesting to see. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, we've got Stu and Curtis in the comments, and they can answer any questions. Or if you're a previous customer and want the upgrade, they'll give you the link for that. All that jazz, OK? Um, OK, what else is new? Uh, it's great for interior HDRs as well, like, for example, um, you know, real estate shots or architecture shots. Sometimes when it's bright outside, it's kind of not so bright inside. That always failed before, but now it is clean and looks great. Um, it's got LUTs, which are lookup tables, and I'll show you what that is. Basically, it means like a movie or film look, you know, like a, a Wes Anderson movie or a Blade Runner, Mad Max C300 kind of thing. Um, and last, uh, we've changed the way all the sliders work over here for the HDR enhance area. Okay, I'll show you all that jazz too. Okay, so let's start from scratch, okay? Uh, because one of the ways that it has changed in a big way is that the, the HDR algorithm handles uh, raw files uh, much better, okay? So now I say, don't save, and I'll say tone mapping, yes. So right now I'm bringing in a, uh, a raw file, okay? This is uh, an ARW file, this is from my Sony camera. Um, what is it? It's about 8,000 pixels across, 1,000 ISO, right? 10 seconds, uh, 4.5. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. Anyway, um, I would say that 75% of my HDRs now come from a single raw file. Um, after this, we'll do the same, we'll do the same shot, but with, um, let me do a little cropping here. With the same shot, but with three uh, photos, three JPEGs. Crop in there like that. Okay. Now, so there's already been done some magic done to it. Okay. If I let's do this before or after slider. Oh man, I didn't mean to zoom in. Um, 
you move back and forth, you see there's kind of like a little light HDR touch. Not too much, not too little, just a little bit. Because I know some people don't like hardcore HDR, and neither do I sometimes. So you start mild, and then you can add all the spice to it that you want. By the way, this piece is called In Every Lifetime I Will Find You. And it's way out in the desert. There's an area of Burning Man called the Deep Playa. Sometimes you have to bike for miles to get out there. And I was out here alone this night. Nice. Um, so that's the temple burning in the background. I'll give you a little background information. Uh, the temple burns on Sunday night. The temple's always different. It's a non-denominational temple. It has nothing to do with religion. And people go in there and they they write things on the wood, like secrets or things they've held inside. Or sometimes people have pets that have died or loved ones that have died. And I had gone in there because uh, my dad died uh, a few months ago. And so I put a little picture of him in there, a picture of him holding my son. And I wrote wrote something to him. And uh, and then at the end of the week, we burn it down. It's sort of a, a symbol of you know letting things go. You know, sort of a symbolic, ritualistic passage, which I think I think it is important for humans to have rituals. But I'll worry about. It. I'm not sad or anything about any of that. It was good. It's all good. Um, I loved him. He loved me. I was proud of him. He was proud of me. So uh, let's try these presets. Okay, you get my. You get like 10 of my presets with this thing. Um, all kinds of good stuff. Here, let me turn off this thing. This one, Barbie Slip Lotion. It's a little extreme. And I'm not sure that name is going to make it past the IP team at uh, Skylum. I think Mattel might be object to their, their doll being used so close to lotion. I don't know. Uh, here's a less here's a less intense one. This one's called Cat Pillow Meow Fest. Okay. Uh, here is one called Mistaken Jamaican, and we've all been there. Here's one I quite like called Never Try That Again. See that? I like it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? One great thing about our presets is that you can dial them down if you want to. Like if you don't like it. You can drop it to 75%, 50, 25, whatever. You take it to a prime number, 53. Hey, you got all the power. You got all the power. Um, and of course, what this does is this just kind of moves these sliders around in advance for you. And some work with some situations, some work with others. We have all kinds of different categories, you know, dramatic, some from Photosage, uh, basic landscape, interior. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Right? If you want to amp up the HDRness even more, you go down here to HDR Enhanced Clarity and uh, Smart Structure. Okay, that can make the HDR go cray cray. Like that. Okay. And of course, we still have layers. All right. So I can click here plus. I can have a layer. I kind of want the bottom to be uh, darker. Right, so I can like drop down the exposure and a little bit of the saturation. I want so colorful, and I hit B for brush, and then I can just now whenever I start to brush, it's going to have that what I just did where I'm brushing. You see, it was cool. You can do all kinds of stuff. Okay, extremely powerful. There's so many controls. I'll go through more controls on the next photo, which is the same photo. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Uh, these are J JPEGs. Okay, three JPEGs. I'm gonna save, and then alignment, uh, create HDR. Okay. Uh, while this is going, let me tell you guys, um, if you buy it and don't like it, you can have all your money back. Of course, we do it. You know, no questions asked. Absolutely, we want you to be totally happy. So there's really no, no risk at all. And a ton of upside, because you're gonna love uh, using this thing, I think. I'm sure you will, in fact. Um, all right, here we are. Okay, so let's not play with the presets here. Let me 
will offend anyone else. There, uh, so make that, click this to make the presets go in and out, right? Um, we'll do a little smart tone, one of my favorites, because it brings up all the dark spots. See that? Um, do a little bit of HDR clarity. Ba bam Amp up that a little bit. By the way, let me zoom into 100% here before I do anything. 100%. Look at that. No noise. No noise. And it was a 1,000 ISO shot, right? Right. Okay, let's go back to normal size. Okay, now let's do a little HDR enhance. A little smart structure. Cool. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, now let me show you LUT mapping, okay? So I have my own LUTs. I don't think they're in our store yet, but they will be soon. Uh, and as you roll over these things, you see their effects, okay? Now they're gonna look pretty extreme, but remember you can dial it down. So I think last time I tried this one, pretty good, risky, not risky. Click it, and then you can have this amount slider and you can slide it down, all right? So once again, it really allows you to give your photos a unique look. I, th I think that post-processing is one of the best ways to kind of overlay your personality on a photo, all right? You can do a lot in camera, of course. You know, I don't have anything against people who say, you gotta do everything on camera. But personally, I just love playing with the photo afterwards. I think it's okay. I think you're making an image it doesn't matter if you do it like before the click, during the click, or after the click. You're still making an image, right? Um, image radiance is still one of my favorites. It gives it sort of that glow, right? But sometimes I'll just do that in certain areas. But you can see what it does. It looks really nice. Um, polarizing filter, HDR details boost. Uh, this part is handy for um, if you're doing, um, oops, I don't want that much. If you're doing a, like really detailed HDR work, we have glow, top and bottom tuning. Like this is another way to darken the ground. I click on bottom and then get this exposure down, set orientation to where the ground is down there. Yeah, easy. Tone curve, hue, saturation, luminance, color toning, like split toning, dot and burn, vignette, man, we got it all. We got it all. Let's look at a little before and after action. Look at that. that fun? fun. All right, you guys. Um, so I've been putting lots of Burning Man photos on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll continue to do so. Um, I know some people are getting sick of it. Believe me, I know. I get a lot of hate mail, a lot of angry emails from people. Um, in fact, <laughs> Well, I'm not going to get into it, but I really don't care, you know, because I I enjoy the photos. I think it's a fun place for experimentation. Here, let me turn off uh, my screen share. Where are you? Here we go. Uh, stop. Yeah, cool. Now it should show me. There I am. I'm back. Um, right after this, I'm going to make some more videos for Aurora HDR 2019. I think I've already published two on Facebook and on uh, and YouTube, they're both places. And uh, I'm gonna be making a lot more that show like deeper dives and really powerful ways to use the tool because I've been using it all the time. And then I go to, um, uh, in a few days I leave to do a 100 kilometer hike in Spain on the Camino de Santiago. And I'm going with one of my intellectual heroes I don't have many heroes, and I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm really geeking out. This guy's name, maybe you know him. His name is Kevin Kelly. The guy that founded Wired Magazine. He's done like three TED Talks. A call, which I think is accurate, a uh, futurist philosopher or techno philosopher or something. Really into AI and all kinds of stuff. Um, written all these books. I just drink up everything he, he says. In fact, I think a lot of his speeches were instrumental in the founding of Stuck in Customs of the blog and the way I did Creative Commons and a lot of things. I, could, I can go on and on. You don't want to hear it all, but um, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So I'll be with him, uh, the founder of WordPress. Again, uh, Stuck in Customs wouldn't have been possible without WordPress. Um, and then all these other authors and more like five other 
authors and philosophers. Should be quite the heady hike. Um, so I got to get everything packed. I'm taking the new uh, uh, the new Kickstarter travel uh, bag from Peak Design. I think there's only two days left on that, by the way. Um, uh, Stu, will you drop a link to that in the comments? People can get that. Only two days left in the Kickstarter. You got to get it. It's great. I've already hiked 40 kilometers prepping for this around New Zealand with it. It's been perfect. I don't have a single complaint about it. It's great. But anyway, while I am going to be in Spain for 10 days or something, I think I have about 20 or so Burning Man photos left that I've been working on. And I'm going to be slowly releasing those while I'm on my walk. Okay. And then I'll be done. I promise. I don't know you guys think I'm crazy. But there's some cool photos coming. I think most of my work is quite mediocre. I'm really hard on myself. There's a few stunners on the way, I must say. And in fact, the very last one I'm posting is of the same statue that you saw called In Every Lifetime I Will Find You. And uh, um, like I said, I'm hard on myself, but I will tell you this, that this one is a masterpiece. I knew it. I knew it. And I'll, sometime I'll tell you the whole story of how I came up with it. It's at a different time of day, different angle. It's just there's there's other things going on, but it's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Anyway, that's going to be the last one I post. Okay. I'll be about two weeks from now or so. All right. Here, I'll put in one last plug. Um, if you like me and you like my style of teaching, all this weird stuff I talk about, um, you should become a passport member. Okay. Uh, stuckincustoms.com slash passport. And for just the cost of a few cups of coffee every month, uh, you get access to like over a hundred videos, behind the scenes videos, teaching videos, how-to videos, all that kind of stuff. And I release a new one every Sunday. We call it Passport Sunday. So we have all kinds of um, like 360 videos. I've been doing a lot of those. Those are fun. Um, uh, all kinds of good stuff. So come come join that. Um, that would be, I would appreciate that. And hopefully you, you get a lot out of it too. I think you will. All right. Okay, guys. I uh, love you. And uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.